Hey, I'm Olga Kay. I'm Shira Lazar. And, and welcome, welcome to Pajama Party. Party! Yay! Ah. As you see, today I have Shira Lazar as my guest, and she's a host of What's Trending on YouTube. Check it out. And also, I just want to point it out, what? she was sitting in traffic for hours before she showed Three up. Three hours. <laughs> and she's like, Olga, can I please have a pajama? I know, I didn't bring my pajamas, so I'm wearing Olga's. She's this, wearing mine, yay! Repeat. They feel great, they smell great. <laughs> if you guys, yeah, I win, it smells great. If you guys know which episode I've worn those pants before, let us know in the comments Ooh. below. I don't even know if you'll be able to see it in other episodes, but if you do, let us know in the comments below. Anyways, so on today's show, we're going to talk about concealer. It's a problem. It's a problem I have for me to say. too. I don't know why. Uh, I wake up up at 6 a.m. every day mm -hmm. because I'm in hair and makeup at 7 a.m. for our live daily show and so concealer is a big thing I'm constantly working I don't sleep that much and also I think if you drink a lot of caffeine which I tend to do it, that also does, does yeah because you get dehydrated it oh. dehydrates you tea even even tea Ooh. tea caffeine too dehydrates you so typically the one natural thing if you do see that you have under eye issues mm -hmm. drink water drink lots, lots of liquids of yeah not just any liquid water specifically. water usually you either have under eye issues or you don't oh you don't and we do and that's why yeah. i picked you and also i actually heard from exotic jess yeah. that you have that issue <laughs> thanks I, i'm happy it gets around <laughs> thanks exotic jess so that's why i picked you <laughs> And I definitely have that problem. I do so much for my eyes and and like you said, yeah. sometimes you just don't have enough time. So that's why we have products and that's, that's why, why we have makeup. Tips. Thank God. And actually, thank you to my makeup artist that was trending, Jeannie Register, who actually did the makeup for your yes. circus episode as well. Gorgeous. Who gave me this little pouch. <laughs> she did not believe in my skills to share what you should do. So she made it very easy for me. This is like, she's like a makeup producer here. So this is my cheat sheets. Don't judge, okay? I do have a cheat sheet. Oh a very God. extensive one. So this is gonna be an extra special episode where you're gonna get real hardcore information. So obviously you start with clean, fresh skin. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's all clean. I like to use these Neutrogena makeup wipes. Okay. And specifically when you wake up, you know, sometimes you have some makeup left over. Mm -hmm. Either you didn't wash your face, which sometimes I do that. Yep. Um, you I'm guilty. Enough, so you're like, oh, I no, I literally pass out and I don't wash my face. It's probably not yeah. the best thing. I would not recommend it because that's what clogs your pores and yeah. causes breakouts. So you want to make sure you clean you clean your skin. Apply moisturizer or under eye moisturizer. I wonder if she put. Oh, did she put it? No. Wait, let's see. She has like a. No, wait, uh, we, a bag we didn't get stuff. Yeah, she didn't give it. To, all right. So whatever moisturizer you use, mm -hmm. apply that to your skin first because you want to make sure it's moist. Foundation. You want to put this. She uses this. So you, on you actually put it before the concealer. Yeah, put this before because it helps it stick and stay. So this mm -hmm. is a from Mac Match Master Foundation SPF 15. Always put SPF on. Mm -hmm. If you're not going to use an SPF moisturizer then have a foundation that has SPF and so once you put that on your face on your under your eye then Let's you move see. on to <laughs> okay she already said this go in with corrective all right corrective concealer which one is the corrective this is it so was like bad 60 I'm like, something <laughs> I actually have a way that I'll, I do it without my makeup artist but this is a way to do it you see now I mean I actually didn't put anything this is on my makeup since noon Oh, and it stays. It's pretty good. Time. So after your foundation, you're gonna put on the corrective concealer. Eve Pearl, what is that? EvePearl.com, check it out. The whole thing about fixing up your under eye is canceling mm -hmm. out the color. So there's different under eye colors right. you get. There's yeah. like maybe a bit of a darkness, there's the dark blue. Mm -hmm. You'd be surprised, like a dark purple. So makeup artists will cancel that out with different colors, and sometimes it's not just like a light cover-up. Sometimes it could be like a more orangey one or a yellow cover-up depending on how dark you are. Yeah. So like if you have a blue violet under eye um, issue, you would go with yellow 
Good actually, that cancels actually, it out. Actually, what I'm going to do, you guys, I'm going to take a picture of this both, is amazing. both sides of this little paper. And I'm going to post the picture on my Facebook, facebook.com slash fans, So you guys can read it and watch this episode at the same time and understand exactly. There's like, it's very extensive, you guys. Maps and everything. Mm -hmm. After the corrective concealer, move on to Lancome Paris. The under eye. Just Prince move to Paris, okay? Move to Paris, okay? <laughs> to Paris. okay? That will solve all your problems. No more under eye stuff. Or issues. So you use it over the corrective concealer. It's really easy. You squeeze it out. You put it on. You just dab it on there. And this helps with the matte finish. Mmm, nice. It helps just even it all out and make you feel awesome. <laughs> and then lastly, this is at the end of it all, once you covered up mm -hmm. the last finishing touch, this Makeup Forever HD High Definition Powder. Oh yeah, I love that. And that adds it, you know, that allows the light to reflect mm -hmm. off your face and your under eye. And then it brightens your eye. Yeah, and so, I mean, that totally brightens your eye. And it's translucent, but at the same time, it, you know, it hides all the shine and brightens your eye. Yeah, I mean, this is the stuff that I always just like, I'll dab it even you know, if you, hopefully you have a brush like this. Which is, oh, it's such a nice one. This is a nice one, I know. So if, if you have a brush like this, you put it on like this. Sometimes even like when I'm running out the door and I notice, I'm like, okay, I don't wanna, you don't wanna clunk it up mm -hmm. right underneath. Yeah. If you put too much, then it it's obvious. You don't mm -hmm. want it to be too obvious that you're wearing huge amounts of cover Makeup, up under yeah. your eyes. And so, with that said, if you put a bit and you notice that like, oh, it's a bit shiny, or it could use a bit more of that glow, then yeah. definitely powder, white powder and translucent yeah. powder does that. And then it sucks up all the shine. Wow. So that's a very and that's how you feel. Like, how you it's feel. like a marathon. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie and Shira. Okay, so <laughs> Thank my, you, Jamie. All right, so we're gonna move on to my concealer. So as Shira was saying that she's using a couple of steps, you know, to really cover everything up. I actually use a Paracon MD. I don't have it because I'm using a sample picture. Ah! Um, <clears throat> so I'm using that before I put anything on. Then there's I used to use Time Bomb, and you can't really buy it anywhere. So that's why I picked something else to talk about. But it's just it's a great concealer. You can even put it even if you don't yeah, use that's any really makeup. Good. That's very neutral. I feel like yeah. it could work on multiple skin types. Exactly. And even if you don't like put makeup on, you can just use the concealer and it actually looks yeah. really good. And okay, so, but you can't really buy it anymore. So I found this next best thing, Yves Saint Laurent. Yeah, no, that's so a, how did I Yves say? Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent. No, that's a, that's a good product. They have that and they also have their pump, like their tube Ooh, that you pump. That's yeah. also a lot of makeup artists use. I it is no that. Expensive. This is a more expensive line, yes. but it's worth it. But it's worth if it if you need the help. If you really need the help, yes. And it's very creamy. It's very light. And um, I usually don't take the sticks and I just go around my eyes. I just like tap my uh, dab my finger a little bit and then put it on my eyes. I'm sorry, I ate a lot of shoe snaps. I mean, snap piece. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm burping is what I'm saying. Um, all right, so, and I usually use my fingers. I don't usually, really? I don't use brushes because I feel like it's thicker on my eyes. Oh yeah. Well, I guess no, I do it for camera makeup, but then my skin sucks up makeup. So you just need to know mm -hmm. your skin. Yeah. But this also is great as a highlighter too. As a, yes, as a highlighter and it's very creamy. So it's not dry. So when you put it on your eyes, your dry, your eyes don't become like really like. All right. Flat. I hate that when you put it, like whenever you're dabbing concealer on your eye and you're just like, you're really trying to put yeah. it on. You don't want that because no. then one it's you're gonna see creases more quickly mm -hmm. Like as it's drying out on your face you want it to be not too moist where it's like shiny and it's obvious It's like yeah. that m balance but where you can still yeah, and move it under your eye skin, yeah. yeah, and it's really nice and to finish off I also use something that similar to Shira's but it's actually made I think it's a highlighter powder uh, light diffusing powder concealer so it's actually made for eyes and it's by benefit and it's power flag Powerful. Yeah. <laughs> Fledge. No. Fledge. Flog. Flog. Are you sure? Yeah. Power flog. Oh, like oh. camouflage. Camouflage. Like power. camouflage, but power pa flog. Power Powder flog. Flage. Get it? It's a French. It's French. It's a French. Okay. It's, it's a no. French. It's a camouflage is a word, an English word. <laughs> 
<laughs> Welcome to the pajama party where people teach me how to speak English every time. <laughs> At least I'm te teaching you, you're not teaching me. That'd be oh, yeah. You are teaching me. That did happen a couple of times. So yeah, so this is reflective powder as well and it's slightly pink and it's a little bit shiny yeah. and uh, um, I love it. I just put it in the corner of my eyes. Like right uh, like here, in yeah. a corner and then a little bit under and just brightens up your light. Uh, I light. I. It's a long day. It's actually like 10 p.m. outside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a real pajama party. Yeah, but I also want to. Okay, so there's yeah. one tip that I always give to everybody. If you have dark circles, you have to remember where they start. And they actually start in the inner corner of right here. <laughs> <laughs> You're not, those aren't real glasses. I just know that. <laughs> you just wear them. That's amazing. Do they, are you supposed to show that? Reveal that? I guess that so. A, <laughs> until I know. You have to be real with your audience. They need to know. Anyways, my face must look not so great right now. But they started. <laughs> you're laughing. They start in here. You have like a very... So you put your product. <laughs> okay, so you put keep rolling. So you put your product. I'm crying. Okay, am I now? Wow. Oh, you, so you're right a now. laugher crier. I am. Yes, yeah, you, I'm you, actually <laughs> crying. Close. You are. <laughs> That's what's, what you All probably right. bring into your acting. Yes, mm -hmm. right. I should just like laugh before every like <laughs> dramatic take. Anyways, so. My face might not be the best right now for a beauty channel. But we're real. But, but we're real here. So uh, you just put it in the in, in a corner of your eye all the way here because as you notice, like the darkness actually goes all the way yeah. here as well. So anytime you brighten up this area, it brightens up, your, brightens up the whole eye. Okay. One thing I need to say to all of you. We said to brighten it up, but don't go all, what is it, raccoon eye or something? The raccoon That's eye? Like the black eye. No. Right? Oh, the black. What's the in the opposite of that? The like white eye. Albino eye. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like the. Um, is it not raccoon eye? What's the? There's a saying. All right. There's a saying when I see a woman that you know what you see pictures. You've uh -huh. seen them on Facebook or Twitter where the woman, the girl, put too much white. It's like oh, it reflects. No, so much white that you're like. That it just doesn't blend into the rest of the, the person's face. face. Yeah. So while well, you want to make sure you're concealing, you're concealing. It's like don't go too heavy t duty. Make sure it blends into the rest of your makeup. Yeah. You know there are. Rules there's to a, this. there's gonna be a different video, I guess, on that to teach you how to apply concealer. Yeah. Um. But yeah, but it, don't take it from products. us. <laughs> We've literally been recording this episode for two hours now. <laughs> uh. So those are our products. Let us know in the comments below what products you are using and what are the techniques that you are using. Uh. Let us know in the comments so maybe we can learn from you guys. Sorry. I still. <laughs> Also, check out Shira, what's trending on YouTube, and please don't forget to uh, like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow, <laughs> and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Well, I was going to do like this. Everyone does a wrong moosh face. Moosh. 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 Bye, guys. Bye. This episode has been like 25 minutes already. Can you tell us about your first kiss story? Oh, this is where we're going. I see, this is what you're talking about. <laughs> yes. Do you need some tips, <laughs> Yes, I'd like to hear how people do I know, it. you need some tips. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, it wasn't really... I, I remember my first French kiss. That stands out, but it Please, was really yeah, unromantic and really gross. I mean, nobody had a first It was a French truth or kiss. dare. That's the good one. Right. Was I, today dare. I've learned about actually recently I've learned about uh, seven heaven. Seven minutes in heaven. Yeah, seven minutes in heaven. Are you didn't know about that? Nuh uh. You bring it back. <laughs> yeah, <I will>. <laughs> <laughs> or the spin the bottle. Like oh I gosh. would play spin the bottle with me and all guys. <laughs> Hot. Hold on, go on. Um, on anyway. So yeah, my first I guess like more than a pet kiss, I was on a bus. 
uh, at my friend's bat mitzvah. Mm -hmm. We're getting J Jewish on people. Bat mitzvah is like a turning of age thing when you're, oh my god, I don't want, when you're 12, 13. No, that's fine, 16, that's fine. I mean, <laughs> I feel weird saying this, like I'm infiltrating their minds or something with that. You're not doing anything. So anyway, okay, go on. so it was a truth or dare, and they're like, oh, I dare you to French kiss and this guy, and so I did it. But it wasn't the, I would, I would recommend. It like? No, it was embarrassing because I wasn't ready to do that. Yeah. And so I would recommend to all of you watching, if you haven't had your first like real kiss, do it at least, you know, I know there will be those people that do it on a dare because it's just easy to get it over with. Mm -hmm. Whereas when you actually like someone, it's harder to get through that. Whereas yeah. when someone's like, oh, just do it. And you're like, oh, I guess that's a dare, you know? Yeah. But it was embarrassing because I just wasn't, I don't think I was mature enough to like understand and I was I still like very young and girly and so it was like weird like I was self-conscious yeah you know I was like what am I gonna do but did like, you do do like this? it or were you like oh this is weird I don't want to do it for another couple of years. um well I was also a late developer <laughs> <laughs> This is great. So, I love it I was a late developer. I'm like Bar Barbara Walters so <laughs> yeah right <laughs> and that's why I won't find love ever. Uh, I was a late developer, which means I just like wasn't developed. Like I wasn't ready. There were some girls who were my best friends who were much more advanced than me in all yeah. ways. But so I was still like young. I was like still a very girly girl. Yeah. And but I was friends with all the guys, so I wasn't really like I think I kissed quickly and did all those like easy introductory things, and then I for a few years I kind of stayed there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then. I was one of those, like, in, in my, the summer of my 10th grade, that's when it happened. Aww. The P word. The huh? once a month thing. Period. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're, talk we're actually talking about your development now. <laughs> I thought we were talking about the real in love first kiss. <laughs> oh, in love. <laughs> See, I'm very practical. I go through timelines. <laughs> All right, so let's go back. Period 10, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, like actually, it's the best thing. If you're watching and you're flat chested and you're 12 years old, <laughs> don't worry, it gets better. <laughs> it gets better. Okay, so 10th grade, though? 10th grade, anyway. So I guess you could say my first real, Were I mean. 16? 15. No, I was like 10th, summer, 10th grade. No, that's, is that 17? Wow. 16. I was like, I so that, like I have to talk by about the time I was there, like I was just ready for it all because I was so like all my friends had done every, like, I feel like a lot of things and I was always like the, the best friend with all yeah. the guys. So that's when I had my first real boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Like before I had boyfriends, I like was hanging out. I was dating, whatever. I was always someone who liked the boys. Right. But that's normal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but all I'm saying is for all those girls out there, if you're getting made fun of because you're too flat chested or too this, too that, oh, don't you worry. In a few years when you come into your own and blossom, all those people made fun of you, they're gonna wish they hadn't. So it gets better. This is like the it gets better for ladies. You know, they, they, it's yeah. good for sexuality. Right. And this is the it gets better for when you're, you know, either a tiny squirt, flat chested, all the boys make fun of you, or if you develop too early, you know, it gets better because you should be proud of who you are. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to talk about my per period now. <laughs> this is becoming like Babysitter's Club. Yeah. Uh, since this books? episode just went to so many different directions. Well, no, I felt like it connected. Anyway. It connected. I just say too much. It's it like connected TMI. somewhere in your head with that. I'm just kidding. No, uh, but I want to talk about this. See, my story was different. I developed too early. At seven years old, I had boobs. And wow, then at yeah. 10 years old, that affects I actually you. had my pee. How? It does. It didn't affect you. Did you feel self-conscious? Oh, absolutely. I was walking around like this. Oh. My mom was telling me that my body is the most beautiful body ever, and I should love it and appreciate it. And then I hit 15, and I'm like, appreciated my body too much. Thongs <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's, what beach are you on? How you grew up in Russia? Yeah, well, we found some beaches. Black <laughs> Isn't it like cold in Russia? Like, no, not in the summer. 
Okay. Yeah. Depends. So you definitely you embrace America. your body. I definitely embrace my body, and and then I came to America, and everyone was so repressed, suppressed. Yeah. And I felt weird. I felt like I'm back in night into 1920s. Like even in the Russian circus, everyone was wearing thongs as the. Right, everyone's thong. running around. Yeah. You know, you're changing like, in front of people and yeah. guys. But like performing in front of lots of kids and adults. Yeah. They're wearing thongs. This is the story I don't think I've ever talked about. So I was really okay with that. And then I came to America and everyone was like, woo! Oh, so I had to go to Mexico to enjoy, you know, my thongs. <laughs> <laughs> that will be in her closet tutorial. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All of my thongs on display. <laughs> That should be actually an episode of like lingerie. Well, maybe not. Like you don't need yeah. to sh wear it. Not model. anymore. I don't think I want to do that anymore. You know what? What I realized recently is I used to like. I remember when I first had my first like real boyfriend relationship. Mm -hmm. I did the lingerie. This that. I thought it was so cool. Mm -hmm. And I haven't done that for relationships in a while. Yeah, that you might want to revisit that. I think I hear my mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye! That's so sexy. Where are you gonna go? We just went on a rant, a girl rant. There you go. Bye! bye. <laughs>